G'day guys and welcome back to the show. Today I'm going to be doing a dry rub lamb leg steak with my version of a Greek salad using lettuce, feta, going to be using some beautiful heirloom tomatoes, great in the barbie, great for Australia Day. So let's get on with it. Okay guys, let's get on with it. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is just marinate or dry rub the lamb. Today I'm using lamb steaks. You can honestly use whatever you want. The rub I am using, however, is for game and lamb. I'm quite sure you can use it for anything, but it is really good with lamb. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Okay, so we'll just grab the lamb leg steaks. You can use lamb chops, whatever you want, honestly. It's just, just what I'm using. Now with the seasoning, liberally put it on. Just pat it down a little bit and do the other side. Now obviously you can put as much or as little as you like of this. I like a hell of a lot on there, I think it just tastes good. And put it aside for, I don't know, about 10 minutes. Um, you don't want it to go too long, it will start drink, you know, bringing all the juices out of the steak or the meat, and it can become a little bit tough, so you don't want to over marinate it. So we'll just sit this off to the side now. Just give the bench a bit of a wipe. Then we can get on to cooking the lamb. Okay, pan's on now. We'll just whack a bit of oil in. Now with this, you, you wanna make sure it's, it's hot um, to seal it. There's nothing worse than having anything like a steak or anything that's stewed. It just gets really tough and it's, it's bloody awful. Now obviously, um, like I was saying, you want it to get hot and I mean, you know, nearly, nearly smoking hot. It's really hard when you're outside, especially now. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's taking a while and it will, but persevere. You know, wait a few minutes, wait till it's nice and hot, and then away you go. Okay, it's been a few minutes now. Um, like we keep saying, obviously we're outside, it, it makes it a bit harder, but it's worth the wait. Honestly, I would like it a bit hotter, but it is what it is. All right, we'll just give them a turn. Now, don't be scared to turn them frequently. It's a bit of a wives' tale that you turn steaks once. You want them to keep nice and crispy, so if you keep turning it every few minutes until we get to the desired like doneness of how you like it to be cooked. So th these steaks, I mean, I, I like mine sort of around medium-ish for lamb. So realistically, if, if it was hot and not as windy, you're probably looking at, I don't know, five to eight minutes. The way we're going, I think it's gonna be probably 10 minutes, but um, yeah, look, honestly, just cook them to how you like. Well done, you're gonna be looking at probably 15. Oh uh, yeah, starting to get a nice crust on them now, which is what you want. And for me, they're just about done. Okay, these are looking good now. So I'll just turn them off, let them rest in the pan and then get on to making the salad. Okay, so we'll just get on to the salad now. Now I'm dicing this, you, you don't have to, you can slice it, you can do whatever you want. Just depends how you how you like to sort of 
do everything. Uh, tomatoes, you know, you can use these type, you can use sun-dried, whatever you like, honestly. Yeah, with the feta, I actually like Bulgarian feta. Um, I just think it's nice and creamy, got a nice bite to it, but once again, I suppose it's Greek salad, you can use Greek feta, you can use whatever you like. Now I'm using iceberg lettuce, you can use spinach, you can use mixed leaves, whatever takes your fancy. Then just mix all this up together. And the next thing we're gonna do is just the salad dressing, which is a really simple dressing just made of olive oil, lemon juice, oregano, salt and pepper, and just a touch of mustard. Just remove the seeds so we don't get those in there. Now I did want the seeds out, but at the moment there's about 30,000 in there, but we'll get around that. Little bit of oregano. Just a little squeeze of mustard. A little bit of olive oil. Now, with the dressing, I like mine really quite um, tangy, so I put a fair bit of uh, lemon juice in. If you don't like as much, just obviously just reduce it. Some salt. And some pepper. I probably put a sh should have put the salt in actually first. Uh, salt doesn't dissolve in oil. It does with the lemon juice, however. Just give it a bit of a mix. You'll see it sort of emulsify, it starts going thick. That's due to the oil, the oil and the vinegar and the mustard as well. Makes it into nearly a mayonnaise, just about. Let's give it a taste. Now, I'll just wax some olives on because I didn't forget them. Typical. Okay, that's all done. So we'll just grab the steaks now. They smell really good. And just a bit of the dressing. Try and minus the seeds, but we'll see how we go. Okay, all ready to go. Looks fantastic, smells beautiful. So here we go. Here's the hardcore carnivore camo rubbed lamb steak with Greek salad. We'll give this one a crack. I hope it's as good as it looks. Oh, it's actually really tender, <laughs> which is nice. It's actually got a beautiful crust to it as well. Mm. Got a bit of a salty punch to it. Tiny bit of spice, nothing overbearing, but really, really nice. It's actually beautiful with the lamb. Paired with the Greek salad, for me, I think it's a winner. Lamb and Greek, it's the way to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.